nikuuliza sana ugali unga ugali marekani una upataji au unapata wapi ndio tunafanya yeah. na, na kampuni yenye huyu inanitengenezea inanitengenezea ugali ah wanakutengenezea ugali yes. okay so they just so, gather wanatengenezea ugali na mimi nauzia mpaka watu wote oh kwa Guys, umeona hizi. Hizi nyingine ni nyumba zingine ni biashara kama vimeambia lakini utaona uzuri ni kwamba Marekani ni kweli ni expensive na sometimes kuanzisha biashara ni expensive lakini nategemea upo state gani. Ukianzisha biashara California is very expensive to have a business in California. Lakini one thing I learn ni kwamba if you move out of California unaweza kawa na business lakini business yako kawa ni chipa kaanza vizuri you like you have a chance to start from the scratch here in other states umeona una chance ile ya kuanza from the scratch lakini hiyo chance California you have to have a big chunk of money to start a business in California lakini hapa kidogo unaweza kawa na kipesa chako kidogo na ukaanzisha biashara kwa sababu unaweza kawa una, una, una umekodi tu nyumba lakini ile nyumba ulokodi ukaigeuza kuwa biashara na ukafanya biashara na ndio maana watu wengi wa immigrant wanaokuja hapa wa Kenya wengi wa Kenya wameanzisha biashara kwa mimi na biashara Marekani lakini biashara wanaanzisha sehemu ambazo ni affordable ku rent that's why most Kenyan they have a business in America because that's what I, I, I knew I I learned here kwa sababu they rent just a house and then they turn it to a business so inakuwa less cheaper then to be in California unakuta una rent mjengo mkubwa rasa mjengo mkubwa you can you can keep up the rent with that building umeona nikuta ni rent yake ni kubwa sana ku rent mjengo mkubwa labda kama mi mall hivi alafu kaanisha biashara umeona kwa hiyo ndio tofauti moja mkubwa ile uona hapa wa California na hii Oregon bado tutaenda huku tunapoelekea tunaenda Portland Oregon alafu after Portland Oregon tutaelekea Seattle kwa kama kuna mtu anaishi Seattle, Washington, eh, if we can meet it will be nice but I don't think so. Umeona? Baada hapa watu wapo busy na na, na, na kazi. Kwa hiyo I don't I don't think like I'll just have be able to just meet with nobody because people are so busy here. Ningekuwa Tanzania you can like hey can I just meet you somewhere no because people they don't work much in Tanzania. <laughs> Lakini hapa bwana watu wapo busy ona ile hata kama tusikuwa kuna mtanzania anaishi Washington kuna mkenya anaishi Washington hatujakutana is okay kwa sababu naelewa watu wapo busy sana umeona watu wanafanya kazi sana kwa hiyo ndio tofauti ndugu yangu if you have idea for business and if you really want to do it if you have money jo jo state zingine move out of california move out of new york move out of chicago you can do a business but those states too much <laughs> too much to have anything even a house too much to have anything yani ni expensive kukuwa na nyumba ni expensive kuwa na chochote umeona wow it's nice welcome to oregon all right guys all right all right we are here we are here we are here we are here tupo poland tunaingia poland Eh, ni moja kama mji mkuu hapa Oregon. Kwa utaona hapo majengo ma skyscrapers hapo mbele yangu. Utaona sasa tunaingia kwenye mji jiji la Poland. Hilo hapo. Do you see that? Wow. I see that. I don't know what is that though. Oh, wow. Poland, Oregon. Hapa sasa wale ambao wanapenda. That carries people. This thing right here. So yeah, there's like a little thing that you that you you sit in like a car and it's going to travel you. Oh, I've seen that in movies. Yeah, Ona hiyo, hiyo naona sana kwenye movie sana. Unakuwa kama unaendesha kutoka sehemu moja mpaka sehemu nyingine hii juu. Ona hiyo. Naona sana kwenye movie sana lakini leo tumeiona hapo live. Wow, that's so cool. Kama unataka experience zaidi, unalipia experience ndugu yangu. Experience katika maisha bwana unazilipia. Ona experience kila kitu alipia hata kuendesha tu hivi kuona hivi jitu tofauti tofauti unatakiwa uweke pesa uweke gas uweke mafuta kwenye uh, kwenye kwenye gari wow 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 so beautiful there even their freeways are different look 
Hivi hizi freeway zipo tofauti sana na freeway ambazo zipo za California. Yaani road fort fly angalia pale kuna trains. Kuna train hizo hapo. Wow, looks so cool, man. Look. Hizo ni train, mini trains. Yeah. Those are train or buses? I don't I don't know. I don't have an idea. Look but so speed. cool. Look how sweet it got. Look wow. The Even the the that's very amazing. I like that. Mona Google 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 map up and at Ronyesha in a 3D. Let me just check. Let me look. Let me show them. Mona Google map yapa. In a wesha 3D. Hata kama oki recenta. Wasababu, it can get out of a shushuna when you have to use a Sasa Marekani jiji kubwa hilo mimi nitaendeshaje nitajuaje mitaa mitaa ipo mingi mabarabara ya kutosha ni kwa sababu watu tunatumiaga hizi Umeona hizi hizi na kwa na kuelekeza unataka uende wapi kila kona kila punje ya barabara hapa Marekani inajulikana kwenye Google Map Ukisema unataka hadi hadi nyumba unayoishi ukiandika tu kwenye Google Map naishi nyumba fulani code uh, zip code hii e, mail hii inakupeleka mpaka mlango ni kwako hiyo ndo Google Map faida yake Marekani. Which ambao Kenya sijajua lakini Tanzania hatuna zip code, hatuna hizi vitu. Kwa hiyo zinakuwa zinatuchanganya mtu ukimwambia nakaa wapi? Mtu kama unaenda na taxi, unaanza kuulizia, "Bwana, eh, unapajua kwa mzee Juma bwana? Kwa mzee ah, kwa mzee pesa zangu unapajua?" Sasa anakuwa ni tafrani. Huku uweze kusimamisha gari ukaanza kumsimamisha mzungu wa watu kumuuliza eti nataka niende kwa mzee fulani. Alafu anze kukupeleka. Bwana kunja mtaa huu, kunja hivi, kunja hivi. Hamna mambo hayo. Ulaya, uzu, Marekani hamna mambo hayo. Kwa Marekani hamna mtu ambaye atakusimamisha kuulize. Labda itokezee sana, labda mtu imetokezea. Lakini mara nyingi Google Map inakudirect. Huo unatembea kwa miguu, huo unaendesha baskeli, huo unaendesha pikipiki, huo unaendesha gari. Inakudirect. Angalia lile bridge. Wow. What what the name of that bridge? Wow, this Poland, mashallah. <laughs> So beautiful man. Wow, tembeni 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 vijana, tembeni. Wow, look at that. The air is really wow. Clean. Let me see you jamani. Hivi vitu vingine vikuti vikuti California, yani vitu vinatofautiana state na state. California ni nzuri lakini state na state tunatofautiana kwani. Kwa hiyo ukiuliza mtu akauliza kwa namna mnaendaje na mnaendaje na, sehemu hizo bila kujua mitaa bila kujua barabara kama Poland una, eh, unakuja hapa Oregon unaenda sio siaro kama sasa hivi tukitoka hapa Poland tutaingia siaro lakini mtu anajiuliza unaingiaje wow you gone left <laughs> that's weird kwa sababu tumeona pale ni upande wa kulia mara nyingi marekani tuna drive upande wa kulia lakini nashangaa hapa wana drive upande wa kushoto kuingia kwenye park kwa ndio maana tukao tunashangaa hii parking ina gari jamani na ndio maana sometimes kenda stage moja kwenda stage nyingine kuna muda mwingine hautakiwi hauna haja kwenda kupata leseni mpya lakini kuna vitu utaenda kufundishwa vipi yani kuna sheria tofauti kwa sababu na kuhusiana labda kutoka stage kuepo na stage nyingine kwa ndio maana Sheria zinakuwa zinatofautiana kidogo. Na sheria za barabarani zinatofautiana kidogo kwa California na hapa. Of course wote tunaendesha upande wa kulia, atuendeshe upande wa kushoto, lakini kuna sheria ndogo ndogo zinaloa tofautiana. There's a rooftop bar out there like Mona. Lakini like, nilivyokuambia hivyo pia ni kama hapa mtu anaweza kauliza, ah, "Mnajuaje mitaa yote?" Angalia, "Wow, wow, look at those skyscrapers, buildings, business. This is like a park. Wow." This is so beautiful. This looks like Can't believe in a, I'm in America. I'm in Oregon right now. Poland. Wow. Wow, I'm so happy. <laughs> Guys, welcome to America. <laughs> this is really, really, really beautiful. Hey, Hey, the only you say. Isn't it trend? Angalia is Jengo. Angalia ama Jengo, Jamani. Oh, yeah, 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 Paka juu kule sioni juu. Kwa utaona? Wow. 
Hivi tatu tunaijua kwa sababu ya Google Map. Thank you Google Map. Umeona Google Map? Inakuwa ina kudirect unapotaka kwenda hotel unataka kwenda. Na sisi tunatamani Tanzania bwana sisi tuna Google Map bwana. Hii maswala ya kumuuliza kupita njia hii kusimamisha gari, kufungua kio kwanza kuuliza watu, oh anataka niende siju kwa mtaa wa, wa, wa nani siju pandukeni siju mtaa wa nani loliondo loli mtaa wa siju wa ah. hii bwana mambo yamepitwa ya, ya, ya na wakati bwana umeona hata kama na siku hizi nasikia mpaka kuuliza kuuliza njia tu na unatozwa siju shingapi siju ndio upewe upe direction like una haja kumuuliza mtu yoyote hapa au unaenda na google map yako unafikishwa mpaka mdomoni unapoenda Wow, this safe way look different. I always tell you guys, safe way is you is nini? Zote zinaonekana tofauti. Tofauti tofauti na safe way ambazo nimezizoea mimi California. Welcome to Poland. Portland. Usijua usijua kafikiria anasema Poland, Poland, Poland ni nchi. Hii ni Portland. City. Portland City in Oregon. Ni ndani ya Oregon. Oregon ndo state. Oregon is a state. Lakini ndani ya Oregon kuna huge Eugene ambao tumetoka lakini ndani ya Oregon pia kuna huu mji unaitwa Poland. Ni still bado tupo mji state moja ambao ni state inayoitwa oh uh, ya Oregon. Tukitoka hapa sasa this beautiful state of Oregon ndio tunaenda Siaro. Siaro sasa tumeingia state nyingine tena ambao tunakuwa state ya tatu toka California tumekuja Oregon Oregon tunaenda Seattle Seattle ni state ambayo ipo ndani ya state inayoitwa Washington state Washington state ndio ndani yake kuna Seattle kwa hiyo hapo natamani hapo na rais umenielewa kwa Seattle sio sio Seattle sio sio state Seattle ni mji ndani ya Washington state umeona na kuna Washington DC na kuna Washington state those are two different state Washington DC ipo all the way south huko ya wa Marekani huko ndo ndo mji mkuu wa serikali wa Marekani lakini tunapoelekea sisi ni Washington state umeona so Washington DC hiyo pia mtu ambaye hajui Marekani nataka aelewe lakini kwa wale ambao wanajua Marekani najua of course you, you understand that but for those who never been uh, in America angalau muelewe tofauti wa Washington state na Washington DC na tunaelekea sisi ni Washington state. Washington DC is on the east coast. Yeah, east, east coast. Oh, Washington DC na ambayo nipo ndani ya east coast ya Marekani. Muona, close na New York huko. Karibuni na, na New York. Ipo karibu na New York. Ndio tofauti sana. Marekani ni kubwa ndugu yangu. Marekani ni ni, ni, ni nchi fulani kubwa sana. Muona, utatembea wewe unaweza usimalize. Kuna watu wamezaliwa hapa Marekani. They, Some people they are born here but they never been in all those states. That's how big this country is. Kwa hiyo utaona watu wamezaliwa hapa lakini hawajai kutembelea hizo states zote. Wow, look at that. So high up. Ipo there for angalia juu. Daraja flat lipo juu. I think there was train maybe it's not a train. Look. I say hivi vitu sije kuviona hata 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 California sije kuviona. Wow. Wow, that's really amazing. Well, it's raining so much. Angalia hii sidewalk. Angalia hii ni partition hii ni moss. Moss. There are moss on the on the wall. Bona, kuna hii moss kwa sababu inanyesha sana. Kwa hiyo utaona kama kuna ukungu umetanda hapo kwenye barabara ni kwa sababu inanyesha sana 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 hii hii Oregon. Bona, hata kuna miti Bora kama umegundua kuna miti kila sehemu miti mikubwa sana na imejaa ukungu wa wa wa, wa uo kijani ukijani kwa sababu inanyesha sana estate. Wow, this is really really amazing guys. I wish you are here guys but yeah, you gonna enjoy just watching my videos. Wow, this is cool man. This is fucking cool. <laughs> wow, amazing. So organ so <laughs> Let's go baby. <laughs> This is amazing. Guys, karibu ni Marekani ese. We enjoy this view, we enjoy our maisha. Uh, sometimes life can be very short, so just enjoy your life. Oh, na. Hii Oregon bwana nimeipenda bwana. Oregon nimeipenda kusema kweli. Nimeipenda sana estate. Ipo vizuri. Ipo vizuri. Japo 
sababu ni state ambayo inaonekana ya upweke sana kwa sababu inavua sana ina baridi sana kwa watu wanaweza kwa wanajifukia sana ndani lakini i love it anyway i love it look ni miti huko pembeni miti mirefu tu miti mirefu kwa hiyo utaona miti mirefu imezunguka huko pembeni kwa utaona ile miti mirefu wow co riding co co road exit pando hapa hiyo ni exit kama unatoka huko unaenda unapotaka kwenda ni exit hizo ndo barabara za Marekani zilipo kuna exit ambayo unatoka unataka kwenda unapoenda lakini hii ni kama main vein freeway is like a main vein unakuwa unatembea kwenye freeway na on freeway hamna passengers hamna um, pedestrian they are allowed to, no they are not allowed to cross kwa hiyo ukija kwenye freeway utaona kama umegundua tofauti wa freeway Hawezi ukakuta watu wanavuka barabara katika freeway za Marekani kwa sababu haziruhusiwi kisheria mtu yote kutembea pembezoni wa freeway kwa sababu freeway hata speed limit za freeway ni kubwa kaangalia speed limit hii ni 50 lakini ukienda California speed limit ni 65 65 speed limit kwa hiyo gari zinakimbia sana ndio maana hawaruhusu mtu yote wa miguu kutembea freeway Tembea kwa miguu kuna njia za kutembea na miguu. Yaani kuna mfumo fulani umejengwa. Unaweza kujua sasa nitakupitakuaje mimi nishazo ya bongo unavuka tu barabara unapotaka. Huku hauwezi kufanya hivyo kitu lakini pia still your life is just okay. Nothing changed. It's hard to explain to you. Yaani nguvu sana kukuelezea kwamba hauna haja ya cross freeway ili mradi kwenda unapotaka lakini pia utafika unapotaka bila kuvuka barabara ovyo ovyo pia ukapata ajali za ambazo unnecessary ambazo zinaweza zikapepukikana kama serikali ika put good rules and laws Ona. na hicho marekani wamefaidikiwa sana ndio maana ajali za watu kugongwa na kufa zinakuwa hazipo kabisa na ndio maana hata ukitokeza umemgonga mtu ni kitu cha ajabu sana na maana hata sheria zake ni sheria kali sana ukimgonga mtu. Aidha umemuumiza ume au umemuua ni sheria kali sana kwa sababu ni kitu ambacho unnecessary kwa hapa Marekani kinaonekana. Sio kitu cha kusema au bahati mbaya sijui alivuka sijui nini. Unaenda ndani kama kukumiwa sentence inategemea na na state. Kuna state nyingine wana wana ku wana ku wanasema wana ah That's the thing confuse Kiswahili na Kiingereza mwisho wa siku na unachanganya. Wanaku wanaku nataka nitumie neno la Kiingereza ambao ni, 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 ni neno kidogo polite. Wanakuua lakini kukuua kwa Kiswahili ni kama neno gumu sana. <laughs> Bona eh, lakini kuna states zingine hawakuui wana wanakuwa na wanakuwa wanakuambia bwana utakaa labda uh, ndani ya jela miaka fulani miaka uh, na there is no forever. Kuna ile wanasema unakaa jela miaka yote au uh, kwa mna forever kwa utaambiwa miaka 20 miaka 20 15 ukifanya vizuri ukiwa umetii vizuri sheria za ndani ya prison unaweza ukatolewa chini ya muda wako kwa hiyo this is Poland guys welcome to Poland na hapa tunataka twende Africa restaurant tukale kwa sababu unimeona kuna Africa restaurant moja inaitwa inaitwa uh, inaitwa jele inaitwa Latha L A THA Latha restaurant. Hiyo nimeona kuna ugali. Ndio maana nimetaka kwenda hiyo restaurant kwa sababu I'm craving ugali guys. Na natamani ndio ugali kwa sababu ni mbovu. Mimi ugali nilikuwa siupendi sana hapo kwa Tanzania. Sio kama mtu ambaye anapenda ugali. Lakini kwa sababu nimekaba almost a year na sijawahi kuona ugali hata kuunusa. I say, sasa hivi na umise say. Kwa sababu bwana kuna muda mwingine tuna miss vyakula ambavyo vimetukuza hata kama ni vizuri kwa tumipendi lakini ukija huko utabimizi. Wao oh, gari umesema umechoka. Miogo umechoka hiyo mama mama miogo ya mama Juma si mama wa Garan umechoka. Ukija huko miogo utaikumbuka tu utaimiss. <laughs> oh guys, mbona hii state iko kwa mawingu tu. It's very cloudy even if you look the sky. It's cloud and dark because and right now it's just 10:45 a.m. Ni saa 4 asubuhi lakini angalia hivyo kwa kukala 
cloudy kwa sababu it's raining all the time kana is billboard billboards hizo zina zinakusaidia yani huko kila kitu barabara zenyewe zinakusaidia una google map kwa hiyo unapoenda mara nyingi unapajua uwezo ukapotea kuna google map kuna uh, kuna hizi billboards road billboards za kusaidia umeona hizi kuna zingine ni electronic kuna zingine ni manual ambazo ni kawaida tu ambazo umeandikwa kama zinakuelekeza mtaa gani unaenda wapi exit gani mahali ngapi kwa hiyo zinakuwa zinakusaidia wewe mtembeaji muendeshaji usipotee unapoenda hizo hapo mbele zingine hizo zinakusaidia siaro huku siaro huku salem south whatever inakuelekeza market street kwa hiyo zinakuelekeza kila sehemu unapoenda usije ukapotea hata kama ni mgeni hapa katika hii estate mimi sijawahi kufika lakini naweza kuendesha Oregon bila kupotea kwa sababu na Google Map na hizi street Mbona huyu hata huyu Google Map anakuambia She talk she talk with you you can in a quarter mile you can exit in this in a quarter mile whatever turn right turn left anakuwa anakuelekeza kwa hiyo unakuwa inakusaidia you can get you can get lost hata hata kama if it's your first time in the state you can get lost Mbona anakuwa anakuelekeza na hivyo ndio maana watu unakuwa unaona mtu anaweza kafika hapa akapata gari na akajua mitaa yote kwa sababu ana Google Map inakuwa anamuelekeza. Umeona? Welcome to Poland, Oregon guys. Wow, look at this town guys. Tupo still Poland. Poland, Oregon. Angalia hii jamani, I say. They say if you hon oh, hunk. Awambia <laughs> ni bad luck ah good luck those houses over there Mwana 
barabara zilikuwa nyingi jamani eh sisi wa Afrika tunafika huko najua tunafika Mungu anajalia tunafika lakini nataka niwaonyeshe kwamba hizi hizi sasa ni freeway yani hapa tuko juu kama tuko kwenye gorofa lakini tuko kwenye barabara hii barabara ipo juu kabisa juu kabisa na zipo nyingi sio moja sio mbili sio tatu ni kawaida Alright. Just I want to share my experience with you guys. Hata kama utaweza ku travel lakini angalau utaona miundo binu, eh utafungua macho kwamba uone kwamba dunia ipoje. Unaona angalia hizi freeways ziko changanya changanya homeless kibao pale, homeless kibao. Angalia a lot of homeless people. Unaona angalia hizi freeways ziko kazi. Hizi ndio freeway jamani. Hizi freeways za kujaa za kutosha. Unaona? Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. Wow. Wow. Na tunaingia tena freeway tena hapo tunapanda. Unaona? Bila Google Map ndugu yangu Marekani, bila Google Map. Hapo kama hata huyo hapa mke wangu amezaliwa hapa. Yaani bila Google Map unapotea. <laughs> Marekani Google Map hata kama umezaliwa, umeku same flat labda sehemu ambayo umezoea sana unaenda kazini kila siku na ni nyumbani barabara unatumia hiyo hiyo moja sababu hata sehemu moja unaenda kazini unaweza kukuta kuna barabara tano za kwenda kazini tofauti tofauti kwa sometimes kama unataka uenjoy hapa Marekani lazima utumie Google Map la sivyo utapotea without Google Map America you get lost umeona you will get lost too many roads too many freeways too many like highways too many like back roads street like air, country road kuna kila aina ya barabara hapa marekani kila aina zingine ni freeways zingine zinaitwa highways zingine zinaitwa country road zingine zinaitwa street roads like zipo nyingi sana kwa mara nyingi google map ndio kila kitu inakuonyesha kila kona kila kila mtaa google map kila mtu anaendesha hapa anakuta na kisim chake amekifungua Google Map. Ah watu wengi wanaoendesha huko. Labda mtu kazoea sana njia moja anatumia hiyo kila siku freeway hiyo hiyo moja anaenda kazini anarudi nyumbani. Mara nyingi anahitaji Google Map kwa sababu kila siku anaendesha hiyo freeway. Lakini ukishajichanganya tu kaenda freeway nyingine au katoka exit nyingine ambayo uijui utapotea. Lazima uwashi kisim chako, angalie Google Map unapoenda unapoelekea unapotoka. Pia uh -huh. barabara zimetofautiana kama hivyo. Watu wanaorudi na wanaenda wapo katika barabara tofauti kwa hiyo unasaidia hata ajali kupungua umeona labda mgonge mwenzako ambaye anaenda mbele na wewe huko kwa sababu unakuwa kama labda una break nzuri na imetokezea kitu fulani na inaweza ikatokezea ajali haikuepeki lakini kidogo inapunguzika sheria na jinsi barabara zinapojengwa zinapunguza ajali hicho ndio kitu ambacho nimejifunza ajali siku zote haiepukiki lakini huko nakwambia tangu nimefika na maweza mwaka na story za watu wengi ajali za barabarani mpaka kuua mtu zinatokezea mara chache sana kwa sababu sheria na barabara zilizojengwa zinakufeva wewe mtembea kwa miguu zinakufeva wewe unaendesha gari hata kama ujuko unaendesha sana unakuta kupata ajali ni ngumu inatokezea lakini ni ngumu na sasa ajali ambayo inaweza ikakutoa maisha au ikakuumiza watu wengi wanapoteza maisha na kuumia Afrika kwa sababu barabara zetu sio rafiki barabara moja hiyo hiyo na zina zina zimetofautishwa kwa leni tu huku anaenda huku yuko anaenda wanarudi nyuma barabara hiyo hiyo watu wanafuka kwa miguu nakuta watu wanauza biashara barabarani mtu mara barati mbaya umemgonga wengine wanavuka wengine watoto wengine hivi tafla ni kwa hiyo mwisho wa siku ajali zinazokuwa zinatokea kwa namna hiyo lakini barabara kama hizo huwezi kukuta mtu atembea kwa miguu watembea kwa miguu anavuka pale juu umeona ile kuna madaraja wanavuka hapo juu kuna nini kwa hiyo nakuta ni ngumu sana kupata ajali Uwezo kukuta mtu anatembea hapo pembeni hapo 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 uwezo kukuta mtu anatembea. Kwa hiyo unakuwa una jinafasi hata kama dereva unakuwa una uhakika kwamba sito mgonga mtu katika freeway. Na katika ukienda street roads ambazo watu wanavokaa huko kwenye majumba ya watu ni barabara ambazo unatakiwa utembee kwa speed limit ndogo 25. Umeona unatembea kwa speed limit ndogo lakini kuna stop everywhere. Unaendesha kidogo stop. 1 mile stop. 2 mile stop. Kwa hiyo pia inasaidia kupunguza ajali. Umeona? Pia sheria zinamfeva mtembea kwa miguu ukienda kwenye barabara ambazo za street roads. 
So is the freeway, street roads. I'm saying I'm going to be a good person. 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 So, yes, I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to be a kama kuna mataa kweli anatakiwa asubiri mataa lakini kama sio mataa wewe mwenye gari unatakiwa usimame upishe yeye avuke afu wewe ndio uendeshe kuendelea na gari lako wow this is really good really beautiful wow welcome to america guys i'm so starving right now let's go to a restaurant Guys, nimetoka hapo kwa, kwa uh, restaurant ya ya, ya ya Afrika lakini nimekutana na Mkenya. Tumepiga story nyingi sana, nyingi 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 sana. So mimi tuongee, tutaongea, nitakwambia jinsi gani anachomeka, anachotengeneza kwa mwezi. Anatengeneza kwa mwezi karibu dola 1040. Dola 1040 sawa sana milioni ngapi? Karibu milioni 100 ana mtu anatengeneza kwa mwezi za Tanzania shilling. Those Kenyans, welcome Kenyans, Kenyans people, Kenyans people. There is a Kenya make a lot of money right there. This is just making forty thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars per month, guys. Oh my God! See, I'm really coming from Kenya. I want to Africa. We're going to have to pay for some money. We're going to have to go to the food. The food. We're going to have to go to the food. We're going to have to go to the food. We're going to have to go to the food. We're going to have to go to the food. We're going to have to go to the food. We're going to have to go to the food. We're going to have to go to the food. We're going to have to go to the food. We're going to have to go to the food. We're going to have to go to the food. Yupo Oregon na ananiambia siri. Sasa mimi tutaongeza tutaongeza story hapa niongeleshe story ambazo zilizopata. Ananiambia pesa ipo hapa Oregon bwana. Huko kwa wengine mtafaenda mtafujificha huko. Hamna pesa. Hamsubi. Paka nikashtuka. Hivi California hamna pesa. <laughs> Lakini kanipo visiri vingi sana, katumeongea mambo mengi sana. I just enjoy meeting him. Bwana, Kenya bwana tupikia ugali hapa Washington. <laughs> Kenya anatupikia ugali hapa Washington na ishe ndio chakula. Oh Oregon, Oregon. Kenya anatupikia hapa ugali hapa Oregon. Ila hichi ndio chakula nilichokipata pale. Napiga dola 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 karibu uh, 19. I don't know. I mean he just make a lot of money but he, he doesn't charge with tax, right? They don't charge with tax. Piga ugali wangu huu hapa. Muone. Na gari kabisa una, unasukumika kabisa tonge la ugali. Nimeumisi ugali kusema kweli. Japo ni mzito mgumu gari wa kikenya huu lakini kuna nyama choma hapa unaona nyama choma hizi hapa hmm? ah kitu kabisa kuna mchicha hapa eh? kuna mchicha kabisa hapa hmm? no it feels like home it tastes like home it does it does hali ugali kabisa wa kweli legit Oh my god, nimemiss ugali sasa. Na sasa hebu niacheni ni ile kwanza ugali. Nimeumisi. Let me just eat first. Ugali ni legit. Kuna mchicha. For first time, for the first time I just have the real food from Tanzania. From Kenya, I mean, <laughs> whatever Tanzania. We share the same food. So, mchicha hapa. Na siyo nimemuuliza anapata wapi unga? Anasema anatoka from Mexico. Unga na hivi vingi vingine anatoka from Mexico na anajua mwenye anavyopata lakini vina test kama nyumbani kabisa mtu asikudanganye bwana hamna chakula cha Afrika Marekani hujakipata au hujaenda sehemu sahihi japo hapa ni mbali kutoka kwetu wa California mpaka hapa lakini still unaweza kutafuta chakula cha Afrika ukakipata bwana unaona ugali na pia tonge kabisa linasukumika ile la ugali eh <laughs> na nyama choma yangu na All right guys, eh uh, nimetoka hapo African restaurant uh, za za huyo mkenye jamani. Sasa tumeja hapa tumepaki Walmart hapo. Usishangae kunyuma kuna vitu kibao kwa sababu safari msafiri katili wanasema. <laughs> kwa hiyo tuna hivyo nguo, tuna nini kwa hiyo tunasafiri. Sasa na kama kusafiri kwa hiyo ndio maana unaona kuna kila kitu. Eh mkeso nataka kubadilisha nguo, umeona kama sasa hivi nimebadilisha tena jacket kwa sababu baridi nimevaa tena jacket lingine kwa sababu kuna baridi sana. Umeona? <coughs> um tukitoka hapa tunaingelekea Washington lakini tunataka kuongea ni kwamba nimesahau pale ku mention chakula tumetumia kama dola 
chakula changu na cha cha cha, cha wife hapo nimetumia wote kwa pamoja dola 40 kwa kila chakula labda dola 20 dola 20 nimegawanya kwa na safari kama hizi mara nyingi marekani wanakuambia marekani expensive lakini na sasa labda unataka ku travel vyote marekani unavyoishi ukiwa ume rent sehemu ukiwa na kaa sehemu ukiwa mnakula ni expensive lakini watu wanakuwa na, wana fix hizi prices au kulipa hivi vitu wanalipa kwa 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 kugawanya kwa kugawanya majukumu kwa sababu marekani ndio ipo hivyo umefungwa umetengenezwa katika muundo huo umeona unakuta hizi sawa ni trip ndefu ndio tumetumia kwa wamekwambia hapo kama utajumlisha tangu tunaanza safari ya gasi ya gas ya kula tulipolala jana usiku pale west, best western was wonderful kwa hiyo unakuta mnagawana hizi uh, nini au nakuta bwana mnakubaliana wewe utalipa hichi mimi nitalipa hichi wewe utalipa chakula mimi nitalipa hichi hivyo ndio mnapogana wewe utalipa masema kulala mimi nitakuwa nalipa chakula na na, na gas station kwa hivyo ndio tunapogana tunakuwa tunapogawana kwa hiyo unakuta kidogo gharama zinakuwa zinapungua lakini ukitaka usafiri peke yako msigo utaubeba peke yako usione kama hivi tunasafiri ukasema damu mshana nasafirije na unakuta prices zinaenda juu up 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 inafika dola 100 dola 100 na 200 lakini unakuta majukumu yanakuwa mnagawana kama hivyo lakini other than that i enjoy that food from there umeona um kwa hivyo kwa hiyo tukutane siaro hapo tume stop kidogo tumie to use the bathroom she wanna use the bathroom kwa hiyo ameenda kutumia bathroom kidogo alafu tukitoka tutaendelea na safari zetu kuelekea siaro umeona bwana yule mkenya bwana amenifurahisha sana <laughs> yule mkenya bwana amechukua namba zake alafu pia nimepewa na namba ya mtanzania mwingine unajua ni vizuri sana kuwa na community watu ambao unawajua kutoka back from home hiyo ni mimi hapa nazunguka na wazungu wengi yani kwa familia yangu leo nizunguka hapa ni watu wazungu which is semi kama ni kitu kibaya ni kitu kizuri sana umeona kwa sababu unazunguka na wenyeji lakini pia ni vizuri sana kuwa na community hata kama ni watu wachache ambao unawajua wanakujua kutoka nyumbani kwenu kama umetoka Uganda kama umetoka Kenya kama umetoka Tanzania angalau una Mkenya au una Mtanzania wao ambao watu wanakujua angalau hata kama ikitokezea kitu ambacho unahitaji mtu from home you can get help from that person kwa hiyo ndio maana nimechukua hiyo namba lakini nimefurahishwa sana nilipofika pale bwana maana nimeona online uh, aliniuliza umejuaje hapa kama kuna chakula cha Kiafrika mimi ambia tumesema tunakuja Portland alafu tutatembea Portland baada ya kufika Portland tukasema tunataka chakula cha Kiafrika kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe nimemiss vyakula vya Kiafrika kuna muda mwingine nakula sana vyakula vya kila aina lakini vya Kiafrika nakosa nakula sana vya Kihindi na wa Mexico na vingine vingine lakini vya Kihindi nakosa kwa hiyo bwana nikasema nataka chakula cha Kiafrika tuka Google na huku Google inakupeleka kila sehemu kama mkwambia imetugugu ikatonyesha restaurants zote za Kiafrika japo ile pale sio restaurant lakini Google kila kitu hata kama umefungua track yako tu ni track lakini Google itakuonyesha direction na ile track. Kwa hiyo tukafuata direction na ile track. Ndio ikatupeleka pale. Na mimi hicho nilifuata nilikuwa nimeona ugali kwenye ile Google. Eh, na hichi muhimu sana hata Tanzania tukiwa na Google mapi nasaidia pia mtu kuona restaurant hata za mamantilie za ndani ikeni katika Google uone kwamba naenda restaurant hii kuna vyakula hivi kuna menu hii na hii. Mtu anavotoka huko hata na safari yake anaasha gas, anaasha gari anatia mafuta anakufata wewe ulipo kwa sababu anajua atakuta chakula cha aina fulani na usidanganye ukaeka kwenye pizza chakula fulani alafu tena kwenye reality ukaeka chakula kingine au nitoke hapa nje tazizo nje baridi nataka niongee nitoke hapa nje lakini it's so cold guys i can't i can't take this she's back all right okay yupo hapa merudi tu tutaendelea na safari lakini nilichokwambia nitaka nitoke nje niongee na nyinyi lakini kasharuhi afu tutaondoka afu pia spend kutoka nje kwa huko hapa Oregon is very cold kwa hiyo kitu kilichokuwa naambia msidanganye kama, kama utaweka hizo uh, restaurants za Kiafrika mnakuwa mnaweka oh bwana nauza ugali sijui unauza pilau afu unaenda restaurant unakwambia pilau hamna atuuzi sijui nini nimeisha mwaka jana sijui nini aa eka kitu unachouza kama uuzi usieke kwa sababu kuna watu wanaendesha fadho all the way kukufata wewe kwa ajili ya chakula. Mimi nimefata ugali, uweze amini. Restaurant za Kiafrika zimenionyesha juu zipo karibu kumi. Lakini nimefata ile tu na ilikuwa bahati nimekutana na na Mkenya. Sasa mimi ninaona kama mtanzania mwenzangu kwa sababu Mkenya, mtanzania mimi naona wote sawa tu. Nimekutana na Mkenya nimekuwa bahati lakini mimi nilichofuata ilikuwa ni ugali. Kusema kwa to be honest ilikuwa nimefata ugali. Nivona wana ugali nikaenda. Tukwe drive ah kumbe kuna truck. Kufika pale I saw this guy inside the truck selling the food. Na mimi nilipojua bwana nikajua bwana ni African America. Nilijua Black America. I was like I was starting to speaking English with him. Nikaanza kumuongelesha Kiingereza bwana. Hey, do you have a uh, ugali over here? He like, "Yes." I like, "Okay. It's just I I thought it's just uh, somebody from here." 
Kwa hiyo bwana nikaangalia nika menu. Ah, kuangalia menu nikaasha kamera yangu najua kama kaida yangu ripota wako tena nataka kuonyesha vitu vya huku na nini ma, mazingira price ya vitu. Ah, nianza kuonyesha menu bwana. Jamaa anatoka kutoka ndani bwana. Are you speaking Swahili? Kwa hiyo it's very fun moment. I, I just enjoyed. I really enjoyed. So, kesho tutaanza safari tutaondoka lakini Stay tuned on the journey I'll show you every day, everything in details on the journey. Bwana kuna smoke and vape drive through hapa tumeiona. Hapa tunaondoka hapa Wama tunaendelea safari lakini drive through kama nishai kuonyesha ile pale. So you stay in your smoke car. They're going to go vape drive through. Kwa hiyo utakuwa unaendesha unaendesha ndani ya gari yako unaingia dirishani wanakupa tu bwana banki yako ya hapa hii. Hiyo ndio Marekani. <laughs> na huko kama kwa kwambia bangi ni halali. Sasa California halali. I think still Oregon still is legal. Right? California is legal here is legal, right? Yeah. Kwa California bangi ni halali na hapa Oregon pia bangi ni halali. Kwa hiyo utaona pia California sijai kuona kile kitu. I never seen that such a thing in California. Kwamba kama unapenda drive through labda McDonald's unaenda kuagiza chakula labda eh, burger whatever au taco bell unaenda kuagiza tacos uh, burritos eh vyakula vya Mexico hivi. Na pale kwa kuna small, uh, kuna weed <laughs> whatever <laughs> drive through. Kwa hiyo unaenda tu bwana eh haraka haraka ukiwa ndani ya gari unaenda drive through. That was amazing. I mean I don't know what to call it. School or <laughs> weird. <laughs> Sijui ni itaje kama ni weird au cool. Lakini kitu kingine wadau nataka niwaonyeshe kwamba estate kama nilivyoambia estate haina haina nini? Haina tax. Ukinunua kitu kama unavyoelezea mwanzo unapata hivyo. Nataka niwaonyeshe kwa ushahidi tumedunua eh, dawa fulani hapa kuna hii dawa tumedunua. This product here. Umeona? Tumedunua. Na this product tumedunua Walmart. Ndio maana tumeenda Walmart kutumia bathroom na pia kununua hii product. Umeona hapa nitakuonyesha kuna kitu utaona hau, huoni tax kuna hii sub sub total which is 2 and total is 212 so ukinunua hichi kitu if you just buy this in california ukifano umenunua hichi california hii dawa au chochote kile california utakuta kuna toto alafu kuna kuta plus tax kwao nakuta inaongezeka pesa tax labda umenunua kitu dola mbili kama hapa nakwambia dola mbili ngapi sibi ni, ni, ni focus 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 okay whatever so ukifocus uh, ukifocus mfano hata police wao tofauti umeona police wa California na watu wote kwa hiyo ukifocus hapa nikuonyeshe sema itaki kufocus camera hii yes the right lane to take mbona focus kwa hiyo utaona ni dola mbili 12 California pengine ungekuta ni dola mbili tisini kwa sababu ana plus tax au dola tatu of course au dola mbili tisini na tisa nitegemea na tax of kuambia tax ni kiasi gani kwa hiyo hiyo ndo California ni tofauti na Oregon. Unaona Oregon hawana tax katika bidhaa. Lakini haimaanishi hawana tax kabisa. Usijoka don't get me wrong. They do have tax but not in products. They have tax in other stuff. Labda umenunua umenunua nyumba, sijui nimesema umenunua nini. What do they have tax in? I think it's a higher property tax for the house. Oh. Oh the property tax for the house in a quarter mile. Ah, okay. Kifano umenunua nyumba naambiwa ukinunua nyumba kidogo ndio unaweza kuongezewa eh, gharama kidogo za nyumba eh, zikawa juu kwa sababu unalipia tax ndani ya nyumba. Yule ununua. Umeona kwa hiyo kwa badisha wanatoa tax katika product ya vyakula chochote unachonunua wanaika tax katika sehemu nyingine. Hivi ndio wanaofanya. Wamarekani bwana wazungu wana wajanja sana. Wanajaribu kutengeneza mazingira ambayo hata kifano umeshindwa kuisha maisha mazingira Dar es Salaam au Nairobi unaingia zako kisiu sijui unaingia zako uh, Arusha unaingia zako yani una kidogo na huku ndio hivi wanafanya hivyo hauwezi kuishi California usilalamike unaweza kwenda kuishi South South of America United States of America ukaenda uh, Mississippi huko ukaenda Georgia ukaenda vizuri ukaishi maisha mazuri tu eh ndio wanavyofanya hivyo bwana umeshindwa kuishi California unakuja Oregon you can live in Oregon so they give you option Unataka kuishi vipi? Unataka ukatwe tax za aina gani? Hivyo ndio wanaofanya. Bwana huwawezi CCM unaenda kwenda chama mkoa eh, ambao ni Chadema. Ndio hivyo Americani hivyo. Bwana I don't want to live among people who are like Republican. Unaenda state ambayo ni Democratic. Ukiona huwezi kuishi na Democratic, unaenda state ambayo ni Republic. Ili mradi unakuwa na option ya wewe unataka uishi mazingira gani na comfortable kwa leo familia yako, unalewa familia yako katika mazingira gani katika state gani? 
ya watu wamekusukuka wa aina gani race ya aina gani kuna state ambayo umejaa Mexico na Wahindi there are some state you, you don't want to see Mexican you go come here <laughs> <laughs> so you have a, a, a variety of option where you want to live kwa hiyo hiyo ndo Marekani ilivyo unataki kuona weupe wa, wa unaenda huko South America huko so South America South of United States of America kwa hiyo unaelewa unaenda Georgia huko unakutana na watu wengi wako a lot of African America. Kwa hiyo una variety ya choice ya kufanya maisha yako unapotaka. Bora. Lakini nimeenjoy bwana narudi tena nimeenjoy sana nilipoenda kula pale kwa restaurant ya Kenya bwana. Mimi nimeenjoy. Kwa hiyo Kenya kama una unaniangalia channel yangu nashukuru sana brother bwana nimekula pale nimeenjoy. Lakini karibuni Oregon tunaelezea sasa sasa hivi tumetoka Poland na sasa hivi tunaelekea Seattle. Seattle. Wanyo anaita Seattle. Seattle. No, no Seattle. Siaro. <laughs> okay guys, kwa hiyo kuni Siaro, tunaelekea Siaro, bado hatujaingia Siaro lakini tunaelekea Siaro. Bona. Dona truck drivers hao wanapiga pesa. Bona truck drivers shida hao ndio hivyo, unabidi deal na kila hali ya hewa. Sababu unakuta labda unaendesha kutoka state moja kwenda state nyingine, ta deal state moja mvua nyingine, baridi nyingine, snow nyingine hivyo. Bona ni kazi moja is very complicated. Bwana ule mkenya bwana mimi amefurahisha. Anatengeneza dola 1030 kwa mwezi. Ah, unaatu anapiga hela jamani. Sisi wengine tunaikia hapa tuna makaratasi lakini bado tunatakiwa tutafute jinsi ya kupiga hela vizuri. Kuna Afrika hapa, kuna East Africa hapa, Kenya au Tanzania wenzetu wanapiga hela. Umeona? Wanapiga sana pesa. Umeona? Lakini mimi mwenyewe nikirudi sitoendelea kwa muda mrefu na kazi za zile za za minimum wage na kufanya kazi sasa hivi tama na tamia na tutaongea 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 lakini naamia kazi ambayo ni career kabisa ni professional ndio naingia nitawaambia ni kazi gani bona homeless people over there top bona kuna homeless people wow wow kalele train hai vitu vitu vya kuviona barabarani kwa unaendesha bona unaona milima unaona mabonde unaona snow you know see train also like this wow this is so amazing I wonder someday if we travel all the way to here with train. Kama tusikoje tuchague kutoka California mpaka hapa tutumie train tu. Tusitumie gari. It's called air train. Bona. Kwa hiyo sikuingia tutumia airplane, sikuingia tutumia train, sikuingia you drive. Just have a choices life. Look. This is how maybe we're going to have it there Dar is some baby soon. Yeah, so. This is so amazing. So amazing. Bona barabara za Oregon bwana freeway zake kuja kuondoa freeway za Oregon ni kubwa alafu zimetengenezwa katika mundo fulani tofauti kidogo na California kidogo so sana lakini kidogo kitu kingine cha kuondoa Oregon mbona kuna exit za kushoto za kulia kuna exit kulia alafu pia kuna sometime kuna exit kushoto which which, which ambacho wale ambao na California kuna exit za za aina moja tuna exit kulia kama hivi hapo sio kuna exit pale ni barabara kuna exit lakini Oregon sometime una exit upande wa huku labda pale una exit upande wa huku eh kushoto unaona kuwa na options zote wow that's a cool airplane right there bye bye airplane i'm not i'm not going back to tanzania <laughs> okay for a for a long time at least not forever but for a long time <laughs> Okay guys, kwa hiyo unaona hizi barabara za 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 Oregon, kana is so huge. They are very they have a very huge roads, na freeways, na hizo barabara za train kwa utaona hiyo. Bona natamani tuonyeshe exit za upande wa kushoto, hizi ni exit za upande wa kulia peke yake. Yep. Welcome to California. Ah, I'm sorry. Welcome to Oregon. I get used with California. No, no, no. No California. <laughs> Bona bado tunaona Columbia River. Bonge moja ya river ile. Ile kule. Ah, truck, please. You ruin my video. <laughs> truck drivers. You already got your money already. Sio bado pesa zako. Bona you ruin. Oregon, thank you. Come back soon. Oregon, thank you. Come back soon. Okay. So soon we're going to be in Seattle? Ah, uh, Washington? Yeah, it's going to tell you. Okay. Wait. Welcome to Washington. Tunasubiri kusikia hivyo kutoka kwa Google. Sisi tuangalie kama tutasikia. Take a look over there first. Oh no. You can see it. You can 
can see all of the river. I can, I can, oh, yeah, I can see, but I don't know if they can see it. See? You can see it, guys. Right there. Ulemto. This is a river or lake? That's a river. Oh, river. Let me just hold it right in front of me. Tunasubiri kama Google atatuambia, atatukaribisha Washington. Kwa sababu Google, kwa kawaida, anakukaribisha. Kila state utawikia mpia, anakuambia, welcome to wherever, welcome to wherever. Kwa hiyo, natagemea state umekia state again. Wow, look at that river, by the way, guys. Mona Yule River. This is a lake. No way, this is a river. Why? It's so huge river. I know. Ah, mto ni mto mkubwa wala. Mini nijua ni lake. Spirit of Scare Google, to any mother can go to Scare Google. Entering Washington. Oh, yeah, there. Wait, wait, wait. Here, right. Soon, soon, soon. Right now. Welcome to Washington. <laughs> Welcome to Washington. We are in Washington. Go oh, there, Max. <laughs> Nimefika Washington! Nimefika Washington! Hey! Nimekata kama mwana, nimetoka California. Nimekibia jini ya California, baka Washington. Welcome to Washington! Guys, to make here to make up California to make here Oregon. Now, finally, we are in Washington. Finally, we are in Washington, guys. This is so amazing. I wish you were just here with me, but you'll see it on the video. Don't worry, <laughs> even the road they start changing. Mona, you don't be no barabara in Fortiana, California, and Fortiana, and Oregon. Na hapa ina tofautiana kila kitu. Najua sometimes ni ngumu sana kuelewa tofauti lakini itakuonyesha tofauti. Nipo hapa kukuelezea every details. Kwa sababu ni shaka California nimeiona, nimekaa uh, Oregon kwa siku moja nimeiona ilivyo. Na hii hapa ni Washington. Utaona Washington itakuelezea tofauti ya Washington na California na Oregon tofauti yake ilivyo ni wapi hapo nitakwambia. Barabara. Let's see. Let's see. Now, we are welcomed with rain. This is the state of rain. We are welcomed with rain. We are welcomed with rain. We are welcomed Washington rain. We are welcomed with Washington is the state of rain. Huh? Yes. Let's see, baby. All right. Let's walk in the rain tonight. <laughs> Welcome to Washington, guys. Guys, mwona hii, hapa ni Washington kwa Washington ni state ya mvua nuku yangu. Kama vile mna mwona mvua, movie jingi unazoziona katika zimechua Washington, utakudua a lot of movies in Washington, there is too much rain. Mwona, kasa hapa ni unayona sasa rain inyewe, unayona live kamisa hii ni rain inanyewe. Eh, Twilight, movie kama Twilight, Twilight kama unayinyua, wanaita The Moon, The Moon, I don't remember the other name, but the, the real name is Twilight. In the movie, make it make tiwa. Eh, hey, yeah, it make tiwa. It make tiwa up Washington. Now, na kuta kama Washington in the state ya mvua na ili movie kama na njiki na kuta na mvua zina njisha njisha. Na movie njiki mto ziona za Washington zina mvua njiki sana. Mona, bara bara zao na zoni kubwa. Mona, you can see outside. Let me just show you. Nice car, sir. <laughs> so you're gonna show off? 
Get out of our face. Hasa <laughs> utofauti guys the freeway za Washington unaona kuna miti katikati ya freeway mbili. Kuna freeway ya kule na huku lakini kuna miti katikati wamepanda. Lakini pia pembezoni mwa huku wa freeway pia kuna miti which hicho kitu uwezo kakikuta California. California kwanza hamna partition kubwa kama hiyo. Hiyo katikati hiyo barabara na barabara. Kuna partition lakini imegawanywa na kama ukuta fulani tu. Mbona lakini hapa unakuwa kuna partition ambayo ni kama nyasi zimeachwa au sometimes wanapanda miti au sometimes miti inanyotea hawaikati hawashuriki. Lakini California they cut the trees in the middle. They don't want to see the trees. Sometimes they, they put just a wall to separate. Mbona unakuta labda unatengeneza ukuta fulani hivi ku separate kutoka barabara moja kwenda barabara nyingine. Mbona? Lakini pia hawezi ukakuta miti. Huku utaona miti kila sehemu, miti kila sehemu na hizi ni freeway. Freeway za California huwezi kaona miti mingi. Labda tuongee barabara za mijini tuone vizuri zaidi. Let's go.